Hello guys and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today is going to be a two day cleaning so I hope you're needing lots of cleaning motivation. I'm going to be working on the outside of our house and on the inside as well. So if you're new here I would love for you to subscribe but let's go ahead and jump straight into today's video. Fill up with emotions Could I taste them for real? As you can see, we're gonna go ahead and start on the outside of our house. We're gonna work on cleaning up this patio. It's fall time. We're about to be out here more. Um, we were having my nieces over for the evening, so we just wanted everything to be nice and fresh and clean for fall. So we're gonna go ahead and take everything apart, take everything off the patio, so everything can just kind of get a new, fresh start. Outside spaces really do need to be deep cleaned, you know, pretty often. They're just out in all the elements, especially here in Oklahoma. So it's just really smart to just kind of reset it a lot, re-clean each piece, take it off. You can see Chase is grabbing the power washer back there. We're gonna go ahead and clean all of our concrete because it's been a few months and we can really start to see where it's getting dirty. So we just really wanna just reset everything and then it makes the space feel new again. It makes you love your home again. It makes your house your current dream home. So that's what we like to do is just trying to keep everything looking as new as possible. This refrigerator is full of only drinks, so nothing's gonna go bad in there, but we did wanna just keep everything cold since my sister and nieces were gonna be coming over in the next couple days. So we went ahead and just plugged it into our kitchen island, and then as soon as we're done cleaning the outside, we'll put it back, but that's why we moved it inside. Now Chase is gonna go ahead and blow the patio just so we can power wash it next, and we're just getting all that dirt off, bugs, spider webs, you name it, everything that's on there. Um, we picked up this blower from Amazon, and it is seriously my favorite thing. I use it all the time, it's easy to use. So if you guys are needing something like that for your space, definitely check out my description box, and I'll have the link down below. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone Here is the power washer that we bought off Amazon. I'll have it linked down below as well. We love this thing. You can clean your house, your concrete, your cars, your doormats, basically anything that can be sprayed with water is just given a whole new life with this. It comes with different attachments. So definitely check it out if you're needing to clean up your space and especially older homes, I feel like it's kind of hard and requires a lot of elbow grease, but this just takes all of that work out and you just spray it and it seriously makes everything look brand new again. So Chase is going to be working on our patio. We did use the really narrow attachment because we wanted to get it super clean, but if you wanted to speed up the time, you could use a larger sprayer on the end. We just wanted to get it like extra clean. Stars. I wanna drive a faster car. 
Okay, while he is working on the patio, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this sectional out here. I love this out here underneath this tree. It gets shaded first, so I sit out here all the time. Um, but now that it's turning fall, the leaves are falling off that tree, so it's just gotten really dirty. So I was gonna work on this space. You're gonna see me start that now. But I wanted to let you guys know over on Instagram today, um, I'm doing a giveaway with eCloth. Um, so definitely check that out. Go follow me over on Instagram. Like I said, I'll leave the link down below and you can see what we're giving away over there. Look at the beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. So in this clip, you can really see how many leaves have already fallen off and are dying off the tree. I absolutely love fall. It's my favorite time of year, but I always miss our willows. I think they're so pretty and we planted them when they were teeny tiny. So it's just nice to see how big they're getting and they provide so much shade for us. So we love having them. Um, eventually I will move this. Um, I keep calling it a sectional because the other half is on my front porch and now it looks like two sofas, but it was once a sectional. You can kind of tell the left side doesn't have an arm but I will pull it forward where the leaves aren't falling on it but right tucked underneath the tree is when you first get the shade and like the hot part of the day and we're having company over so I definitely want to leave it there for now but after that I will pull it out just so it doesn't get as dirty <laughs> We've had this sectional about two years and I feel like it's holding up so well just to be an outdoor piece. It's from Walmart, so it was affordable. And then all my pillows are just Ross pillows. I never buy outdoor pillows. I feel like they're super overpriced and I can just throw these in the washer if I need them. And it's just kind of a way to save a little bit of money. So here's the after. It looks so much better. I should have done that a long time ago, but those leaves do fall quickly. But it was nice just to have that space nice and clean again. Yeah, push up the limits with you right now Savannah decided to take over the power washer for a little bit. I even did it for a little while. We didn't give it on camera, but it's actually super fun to use. It's very satisfying. So if you like vacuum lines or mowing lines or just, I don't know, seeing something dirty and clean, you can like write your name in it. I don't know. It's just very satisfying and calming to do. So you'll probably be fighting over it with your family members, which is nice because it kind of gives you a break, but we definitely all take turns doing it. Okay, so Chase finally finished power washing the patio. It felt like it took forever, but it was just needing a really good deep clean. You're gonna be able to tell in these clips, it's starting to get dark outside. We're gonna start putting together as much as we can, but like the rug can't go back on here until tomorrow because I want the concrete to fully dry. But any of the pieces that can sit back on there, like the grill, the chairs, stuff like that, we're gonna go ahead and start putting back together. We 
are still loving this patio so much and we're so glad we did everything we did to it at the beginning of the summer. If you're new here and want to see how we redid this whole back patio, I have a whole video on it so make sure you go back and watch it because it is like a night and day difference and we honestly use it so much more now. It's like a whole extra living space. So you can kind of see right here we're still putting stuff back together. <laughs> Savannah's back there swimming. Now as far as like the rug, the table, and the chairs, that's going to have to wait until the next day. But at least all the pieces that could come up here are up here and it's one less thing to do tomorrow. It's honestly so calming out here at night. I sit in that chair a lot and just watch my shows at the end of the day. Chase is normally working on the yard. Serena's like swimming or playing. It's just a, such a nice space to have. We enjoy it so much. I'm gonna show you a few more clips of us just like putting things back together. We remembered that we didn't pull out the refrigerator yet. So we're gonna go ahead and put this little nightstand back and then add the refrigerator. And then the next clips are gonna be the next morning once everything was done. So here's a little tip. It's smart to add like a bucket of water. We do it right here in the walkway. So when the girls are done swimming, if Chase is just mowed, they'll get a ton of grass clippings on their feet. They can just step right into the water bucket, dry off with their towel, and then walk straight over to our patio. And then it helps keep our patio clean. Now if the girls walk straight up on it, it's completely fine, but it will help keep it cleaner longer. And it'll also keep the floors in your house cleaner. So this is just the other angle. They step in the water bucket and then they just walk on those stones. I also added one to the other side just in case they're on the other side of the patio. They can just walk on those stones, dip their feet in. Um, even adults do it. I just don't think people like their feet dirty so they can just step in it and then they're up on the patio where their feet can just dry out. So I thought that was just a little tip I'd share with you guys. But now we're going to head inside and I'm going to show you some before clips because my house had gotten out of control. So I'm going to show you some of the spaces we're going to be working on now that are inside my home. I'm gonna find a crown so I can put it on me Swinging from the chandeliers, I won't be sorry I got a feeling I'm gonna crash into this party So I'm just a match of that waiting to happen like Okay, so the first place we're gonna start with laundry because I knew I had a load. And then I came in here and realized Chase had put his laundry in here, so I knew I needed to do my laundry. I also needed to get Chase's laundries done, but this is also like where we keep George when we leave. And so I don't know, this space is so small to me or narrow. I never had an issue with it before George because Tyre can just stay out right here. You can see, I just realized the washer is full too. So I have the washer full. Um, luckily there's nothing in the dryer, but then I have a whole basket full of Chase's stuff and then a whole basket of my laundry. Laundry is definitely my weakness. I swear I feel like I do it every day, but there's still always more. But back to what I was saying is this space used to be fine, but now that we have George, I feel like it's so crammed. You guys constantly ask me if I could change one area in my home, what would it be? It would definitely be my laundry room. I wish it could be like a laundry room slash mud room. I don't need like a huge one, but I do wish it was a little bit wider and a little bit bigger. So that's one area I would change in my home if I could. But until that day happens, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the laundry and move all the dog stuff around. <laughs> I'm gonna find a crown so I can put it on me Swinging from the chandeliers, I won't be sorry
Before I head on to the next space, I want to condense some of this down just so it doesn't look as dirty in here. And if George needs to get to his water bowl, he doesn't have to climb over a mountain of towels. So I'm going to just go ahead and cram these in the basket up top. Plus, it's a good reminder when I walk past this laundry room that I'm not finished because sometimes I start laundry and then completely forget to finish it. I washed Chase's load in this video. Well, not in this video, but over a few day period three times. So I started it and kept forgetting to switch it over so I'd have to rewash it anyways I did that three times so that's how my life was going last week but now I'm gonna go into my beauty room and kind of tidy up this room never gets too dirty because it's typically just me in here but just a few things were out of its home so I just needed to pick them up before I went on to the next area Open So it's definitely fallish here. Some days it's like 67 and amazing. And then we're about to have a week where it's back in the 80s. But either way, when we hit those like 70s and 60s where I can open up my windows, I definitely want to. I just love the cool breeze coming in. I love turning my air off. So that's why I went ahead and opened all those front windows. If you follow my vlog channel, you guys have kind of seen a sneak peek of today's video because I was also vlogging as well, but you guys didn't see me clean all this up. So now we're gonna go into that part of the video. If you guys missed the vlog, you can definitely go back. And if you're not following us on the vlog channel, I'd love for you to go over there and follow us. Um, you kind of see more behind the scenes and just real life and get to chat with me. It's less like cleaning. So we would love to have you over there if you want to join us. But now I'm gonna work on Savannah's room. She wasn't here this particular day. She was at her grandma's house and she is so good about keeping her room clean. But some days we are just leaving it in a hurry and she didn't have time to make her bed. And I just love to surprise her and do that for her sometimes and just clean up her space. I remember my mom doing it for me and I loved it. So I love getting to do it with her. So I've been getting asked a lot if we're still liking her bedding, if it's holding up really well. I have washed it in the washer and dried it twice and it's doing awesome. There's been a few times I've ordered off Amazon and it's just kind of ripped very quickly. It's holding up really, really well. So I wanted to share that with you guys. It is off Amazon. It's in my Amazon store. The link's down below, but I'm super impressed with the quality of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and vacuum in here real quickly. I can only vacuum when Savannah's not at home. <laughs> It pains me to say this, but she does not like vacuum lines. <laughs> I don't know if she's just going through a stage where she wants to be the complete opposite of me, but she doesn't like them. And so typically I vacuum real quickly and then I'll scoop my feet across it so she can't tell. But every time she goes to like Nani's day or, you know, she's out like riding her bike, I try to vacuum it real fast just to make sure there's no crumbs or anything in there. I've also been getting lots of comments on where are Savannah's American Girl doll photos. They're hanging above her dolls now, so they're right there. But just so you guys know, I have no say so when it comes to her bedroom. If she wants them down, she'll take them down. If she wants to redecorate, she'll redecorate. This is her space that she gets to create. So if they're ever not there, it's because she's just growing up or wants a different look or a different feel. So that's her area and I let her do with it whatever she wants to because it's her space. Um, since I had the vacuum out, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum our bedroom. Um, just a little comment on my comforter. It's from Target. You guys were wanting to know how it would wash up. Same thing. I've washed and dried it like three times. It is doing amazing. Probably one of the best comforters I've owned as far as like holding up really well in the washer and dryer. 
super happy with it. Um, the rug is actually from Boutique Rugs. Until the end of the month, I have a coupon code. It's ASH60, and you can get 60% off like any of the home decor, rug, accessories, any of that. So I'll have that link down below. It's actually an outdoor rug I bought for my front porch, but I didn't like the way it looked, so I flip-flopped it out. Totally love it in our bedroom, so it's perfect in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum our beauty room. Since I have that vacuum out, I like to just go through the entire house, and so all the rooms will just be nice and fresh with nice vacuum lines on my carpet. There's a part of time. Wanna move our feet now. I wanna drink my wine. Feeling that vibe. We're so alive. Is that me and you now? Let me smoke that pipe. Now I'm going to head back into my living room so I can clean up all of the stuff that's out. If you want to see this whole shopping haul, it's my last vlog over on Ashley and Chase Vlogs. We had ran to like Target and Home Goods, and I picked up a few goodies so you can um, see everything I bought over there if you want to watch. But I'm going to go ahead and just start putting everything away. Some of it just needed to be like in my recycling bin. Some of it was home decor. Some of it went in Savannah's room. So basically everything has a home in my house, so I just know exactly where to put it when it needs to be put away. purchased these new cups at Target. I just kind of wanted to freshen up our cups or other ones we had had for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and stick them in the washer before we use them, but they all had those sticky tabs on the bottom. Don't you just love those? Luckily, these are way easier to pull off than Ross, so I'll give them credit for that. Um, and I also picked up a few new plates as well. These gray plates are only 79 cents at Target. They have the matching bowls and cups. I get them all the time. And then as they get dirty or stained, you can just replace them. But that's why I'm just removing all those tags and sticking them in the washer. Have this feeling, feeling haven't felt for so long took a hold of me and won't let go i've been sleeping caught me off my guard because you're in my space and now i'm so i also picked up this gold like fruit stand i thought it would be really good for our bananas i've been needing something for them for a while but i also thought it would be really good for my pumpkins that i had sitting out right now or any seasonal decor um, if I can find that link, I'll go ahead and put that in my description box as well. But as you can see, I'm just kind of grabbing pieces from around my house and fixing it up. I absolutely love that piece so much. I'm gonna take just a little bit and get the rest of my kitchen clean. As you can see, I have stuff all on the counters. I need to wipe them down. So I'm just gonna tidy up and then clean everything up and then we'll be good to go onto the next space. So 
So I've always considered myself a pretty good organizer and keeping things nice and tidy. I've showed you guys a lot of like kitchen home tours, but I've been obsessed with Home Edit lately and their series and their Instagram page. And I feel like I need to up my game. So I'll probably have a video coming out soon. Let me know if it's something you wanna see, but I might work on my kitchen and just kind of level it up. I feel like I need a few more organizers or upgrade a few things, I don't know. I stayed up watching their video until two o'clock in the morning last night. So I've been inspired to work on my spaces. So let me know if that's something you would be interested in watching. We do eat at this table a whole lot. So you guys are always watching me wipe it down in videos, but I feel like we're just always having food there. And I'm not always good about wiping it down like immediately after having lunch or something because I'll get up to work or answer comments and then I forget to clean it. So I like to just go ahead and wipe it down. It does have a few like grooves in it, but they are easy to keep clean if I'll just clean it. And then the towel is back out. I hate that towel. It's always out when it's rainy around here because of George's Paul's, but it's that time of year again where it's rainy and both of them are getting wet. So you're gonna start seeing it there more videos. If you have a solution for that, let me know. But like there's no mud room on the back of my house. If we leave the towel outside, it'll get all wet and buggy. So let me know if you have a system or like send me a picture over on Instagram. If you have like a Pinterest solution, I don't know, help a sister out. Save yourself and leave the words you've spoken Cause some dreams are meant to be broken Now we're gonna move on to the disinfecting part of today's video. Obviously, we're all doing this more often, but this is always something I've done after companies left our house. Just if we've had a lot of people in here, I just think it's a smart thing to do, especially right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those wipes. I like to just take about three or four in my hand so I can change them out as I go, but I don't have to keep going back to like the container. So it just kind of makes it more quickly. So don't be concerned if it looks like I'm using the same one over and over. I definitely have different ones in my hand. I like to wipe down anything that has a handle or a knob, light switches, you know, door handles. I like to do the outside and the inside. Anything you touch and open, bathroom doors are another big one. Um, I like to do stuff outside as well. So a big one is your mailbox. You know, your mailman's touching that right after he touched the rest of the neighbors and you don't know how well they're cleaning or disinfecting. So that's just something good to clean even after COVID's gone because it's gonna be gone one day. I'm gonna have the good thoughts. Um, another good thing to touch is like your trash can handle and lid just because your trash men are touching that. If you have any keypads to get in, just think of the things you touch walking in and out of your house or that, um, you know, delivery people are touching. If they're ringing your doorbell, you might want to just do that. And then I'm going to go in our guest bathroom. This is one I clean down really often as well, just so it's nice and ready and fresh. The faucets, the soaps, anything you're going to touch before you wash your hands is a good one. Um, I like to do the doorknob and especially the doorknob on the inside, so definitely don't miss all those little bitty things that you're probably forgetting to disinfect. Oh, 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and work on my floors. I wanna talk a little bit about vacuums because I've been getting a ton of questions about what I'm using, which ones I like best, just all the juice. So this one's my LG. I love my LG vacuum. It's definitely always gonna be my favorite. It is high end though, it is expensive, so I totally get that. So if you can't afford that, I also have a few affordable like stick vacuums in my Amazon store. I own one of them. It's the white one. It's white and blue. It works really well. It works best on hardwood like hard surfaces floors and then really thin rugs. If you have really thick carpet it's probably not going to clean it too well but if you have a lot of tile or wood whatever it's going to do pretty darn good for about $100. It's like anywhere from $80 to $100. I also have my robo bag, which I love. It just helps me throughout the day. I can turn it on if I'm gonna be working or I have something to do or I don't have time to vacuum. It just saves me because I'm one to vacuum three or four times a day. So it can vacuum a few of those times for me. So I love all of them. I have all of them. I use all of them. I had a Dyson before. I had it for probably say three years and it did finally go out and I haven't replaced it. But I love Dyson vacuums as too. I'm sure I'll replace it one day. It's just right now I have three, so I'm not going to do it yet. But I just kind of wanted to share all my thoughts on vacuuming and which ones I like. We make out for the thrill of it. Mess around for the thrill of it. Don't stop now. Never let this end. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mop my floors and I have a confession. I don't think I've mopped my floors in about three weeks, which is insane. I've been good about doing my nighttime routine and getting everything else clean and the floors vacuumed, but I have not mopped my floors. I think I've been so tired. And there's a point of summer where they just stay pretty clean. Um, but now that it's back raining, the dogs are bringing in their wet paws, they're muddy, so it definitely starts showing. So once they start looking dirty, it's so much easier for me to stay on top of them and like want to mop, but it felt so good to get my floors clean. Um, I get tons of questions, no matter how many times I talk about my e-cloth mop, I always get questions about what I'm using. It's an e-cloth mop. I have the link and coupon code down below my description box, and I only use water to clean my floors. And this is the cleanest they've ever been. They're not sticky. Um, they stay cleaner longer. I don't know. There's just so many benefits of just cleaning with water. And some of you guys panic and say, oh, they're not good for your floor. It's just like if you were using a product. So I'm not using any more water than you are a product on your floor. It's still a liquid. Too much liquid is not good on your floors, but water is just fine and they're going to do so much better. But here's an after shot of all the rooms. It's been so long since like my majority of the house is clean. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I always appreciate each and every one of you, especially for staying until the very end of the video. It definitely helps me out. Also giving a, a thumbs up helps me out. So I would love for you to do that as well. Only if you enjoyed today's video, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have an, a fantastic week. Don't forget about my giveaway over on Instagram so you can go enter to win that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Don't know what I should do I wish you would be right here with me I'm thinking of you